today. I am super excited to finally be filming my IMATS haul. I got so much amazing makeup goodies that I really didn't need, but do I mean that? Not really. So about two weekends ago, I got my little Canadian butt over to New York and I had an amazing weekend. I met so many amazing YouTubers and some of my best friends that I've known for three years but never like met in real life and it was the best weekend of my entire life. It was so much fun. Alright, so I'm going to start by showing you guys the stuff that I bought at IMAX and I pretty much bought most of this stuff on Saturday. I did go on Sunday, thanks to Brittany. I love you Brittany. You're the best. I also went to the style hall party that was on the Friday night of IMATS weekend, so I got a really amazing goodie bag, so I'll show you guys that as well. So before I get started, I don't really know the prices of everything because the receipts got kind of lost and mixed up and stuff, but if I do know the price, I'll definitely list it up in the corner somewhere. Alright, so everything that I bought, I put in this really cute makeup forever tote bag and I'm literally in love with it. I got some stuff from NYX, Sigma, and Inglot, and if I could go back, I would definitely buy a lot more than I did, but I was on a budget, so I kind of like restricted myself a little bit, but I did get a lot of awesome things. I knew I wanted to get some new brushes from Sigma, but I had no idea what I wanted to get. I had a little list going on my phone, but it's really hard to pick what I wanted. So the first thing that I got, this is really dirty because I used it already, Soft Blend Concealer F64 brush and I wanted to get this because that girl Shay XO is in love with this brush and I love her so I needed to get it. I'll have her channel linked in the down bar. And then I was in line and I was with my mom and she wanted to get the travel set of makeup brushes and I was like, you know what, I'll just get that too because I have no idea what I want to get and that seems like a good starter brush kit to get so I did get it she got it in the teal color and I just got it in the black because I like everything to be the same color because I'm really annoying so this is really cool I really like the case that it comes with it's really neat so it comes with seven different brushes this one is the E64 and it's the small angle brush the tapered blending E40 the foundation F60 large powder F30 pencil E30 eye shading E55, and finally the large angled contour F40. So, so far the only brush I've used from this set is the F40 large angled contour brush, but I'm really excited to use the rest of these. I also got something from the Makeup Forever booth, which I forgot about because I only got this, but it's just the HD foundation, which I love, and I decided to get it because it was a discount at IMATS, and I love this foundation. This is probably the best foundation I've ever used for my skin. So this is obviously in the lightest shade, which is N110. Alright, so now I'm just going to jump right into all the NYX products that I got because I bought a lot of NYX things. So the first thing for NYX is the Shine Killer Professional Primer, and I just decided to get it because I feel like I've been really oily in my T-zone lately, so I wanted to try a mattifying primer. And then I got the Illuminator, and I love this packaging, it's really nice. And it is called Ritualistic? Ritualistic? Yeah, but this is so pretty. I have not used this yet, but I'm really, really excited to. I knew that I definitely wanted to try some NYX blushes, so I got two of them, and this first one is in the color Angel, and it's just like the regular powdered blush. So this is just a really basic peachy pink kind of blush, it's not really too extravagant or anything like that, but I feel like the name Angel really describes it really nice. I am super excited to try this, I haven't even opened this yet, but it's the NYX Rouge Cream Blush, and it's in the color Hot Pink. And it is so bright, like you guys can see how bright it is, it's so pretty. I didn't even swatch it or anything on Saturday, I just kind of like randomly picked it up because it was so pretty and then I swatched it on Sunday and I was like, yep, I'm definitely glad I picked up this blush. The next thing is the NYX Eyelash Curler for Extreme Curled Lashes and I pretty much bought this because I forgot to bring an eyelash curler for the weekend of eye mats and I was kind of like dying because I cannot live without my eyelash curler. This thing was just at the checkout at the NYX booth and I just decided to pick it up really quick and I thought this would be great to put my makeup brushes in when I'm traveling because I do have another little um, brush container thing but it's like really tiny and I can't fit very many brushes in here and even though I did get the Sigma travel case thingy I don't think it'll fit like normal sized brushes because the brushes that it came with were travel sized so I thought I'd just pick this up so I decided to pick up a couple of lip liners because I only own one from NAC and it's kind of like a neutrally color but I wanted to pick up some fun colors so these are the retractable lip liners and they are waterproof and this one's in ruby. I pretty much needed to get this. I have been obsessed with really dark or red lip colors lately. Of course I'm not wearing anything on my lips right now. It's kind of like a lazy day for me today. And then this one is just a pink color and it's in the color pinky beige. So staying on the topic of lip products, I definitely needed to get a bunch of them from NYX because I heard they were really good. And so I picked up two of the butter lipsticks. This one is called Licorice. And it's a really dark, like, brownish, purpley color. I'm not sure if I've worn this already. I don't really remember, but 
Again, like I've been obsessed with really dark lipstick colors, so I had to pick this one up. And I also got this one in the color Little Susie, and that's a really cute name. But this is just a regular like rosy pink kind of color. And then I got a butter gloss and this is in the color red velvet and I'm pretty sure this is what I wore for most of the weekend after I bought it. I'm obsessed with this color. It's such a pretty really dark red kind of vampy color. It's so pretty. And then I got two soft matte lip creams and this one's in the color Istanbul. And then this one is Addis Ab... Okay, I literally cannot pronounce the names, but this is what they look like. This one's a really nice light pink color and this one's more of a hot kind of barbie-ish pink extreme shine lip cream in the color spicy and this is another really pretty red lip gloss and i think i wore this a lot too that weekend um because again obsessed with red right now it's so nice so this one's not as like vampy or purpley as the other lip gloss that i got but this one's really nice so on to the last couple of products from nyx this is a glam liner aqua luxe and it's waterproof and this is in the color Glam Nude, and this is the only thing that I got on Sunday when I went back to IMATS, and I really could not pass this up. It is the most beautiful gold-colored liquid liner ever. And I mean, it doesn't really look too special on the wand or anything, but once you swatch it on your skin, you will be sold. It's so, so nice. This was another thing that I bought because I forgot to pack mascara with me for that weekend, so I was pretty much using my mom's all weekend. But this is the Pin Up Tees Individual Curl Mascara, and this is just in black. I have tried NYX mascaras before when I bought some back in I'm at Toronto like two years ago and I'm not really a huge fan of NYX mascaras but I did buy this one just to test it out and I'm not really a huge fan of it. It does have a really nice scooped wand, kind of like a spoon. But I really like my lashes to be super full, super like dramatic, almost false eyelash looking kind of if I can like attempt to get it like that. But yeah, I find this mascara doesn't really work for me, it's not really my favorite. And the final thing that I got from NYX was the Wonder Pencil, and it's in the color Light. So basically, it's supposed to be a concealer, eye brightener, reverse lip pencil in one. Alright, so we went to the Inkblot booth, and I had no idea what the heck I wanted to get from Inkblot, but I knew I wanted to get something. They did have an Inkblot store in Montreal at, like, my favorite mall, but I think it closed down because the last time I went to that mall, it wasn't there anymore, and I was really sad. So I just got the three um, eyeshadow palette thingy. So this looks really cool. I'm really excited to like just have this in my collection just because it looks really nice. Ah! That's really cool. It's like magnetic. That's awesome. All right, so the first eyeshadow color that I picked out is number 29, I believe. But it's this really pretty pinky color. I love pinks on my eyes. I think it's really great for just brightening up your eyes. This eyeshadow color I needed to get no matter what other eyeshadow colors I got. This is a beautiful purpley color. And I've been kind of obsessed with purpley eyeshadows lately. And then I knew I just wanted to get a basic really nice brow bone highlight for that palette. So this is the number... 355 and it's just a really nice beige. That was everything that I bought at IMATS. So now I'm just going to show you guys really quickly the stuff that I got in my goodie bag from Style Haul. This goodie bag was absolutely amazing. I was definitely not expecting this whatsoever. So I'm really excited about everything that's in here. I think I'm going to give some of this stuff to my boyfriend Taylor and my mom because I know my mom had her eye on lots of things that were in here. And maybe I'll put some stuff away for like a future giveaway because I feel like a giveaway for you guys is in order very soon. So I'm just going to jump right into this. Alright, so the first thing that's in here is the Matrix Iron Tamer Smoothing Lotion Heat Protectant. So I did use this on the weekend and it smells really good. One of the ladies that were working at Style Hop said this would be great for really curly hair, which naturally I do have really curly hair. And it's pretty much for the curly hair gals who want to straighten their hair. The next thing that's in here is the Go Smile Smile Whitening System. And I checked this online and it's like $90 or something crazy like that. So that's really absolutely insane but this is what it looks like and I've been obsessed with whitening my teeth lately I bought Crest White Strips like a week ago or something like that but I don't know so I'm really interested in trying this out and seeing if it works the next thing is this Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Gel Mask and there was a couple different masks in here which I'm super excited about I love my face masks those are really fun so this is what it looks like it looks like jello oh this is gonna be so fun we also got a couple of WEN products. So this is the Sweet Almond Mint Remoist Intensive Hair Treatment, which I'm also really excited to try this because my hair has been horrible lately with split ends coming out of my butt and I need a haircut so bad. And then this is the Sweet Almond Mint Cleansing Conditioner. This is the Anti Frizz Styling Cream. And then this is the Texture Balm. And I've never used a Texture Balm before, so hmm. 
I don't really use a lot of different products on my hair. I just pretty much like use shampoo and conditioner and then I'm good to go. But I'm really excited to try these on my hair and see how they work. These two products are from the brand Erno Lazio. And what they were telling us about these was that this was a doctor from back when that um, Marilyn Monroe and I have no idea who else. Is Marilyn Monroe even part of it? I have no idea. They would go to him for his skincare and they actually made this into an actual line for everyone to buy. That was really interesting to learn. So it's kind of like a four step system, I believe. So this one's the Sea Mud Deep Cleansing Bar and it's just a black like soap looking kind of thing. So I'm really interested in trying this out. And then this is the Shake It Tinted Treatment. So it's like a tinted moisturizer. And the lady was saying that Justin Bieber was said to have used this to uh, make his skin look perfect. And this stuff looks so weird. Like, I don't know how it works. I have not used this yet, but it's like water. It's completely liquidy, so you have to like shake it up before you use it. So I'll let you guys know how this works because this one I'm really interested in. There was also a bunch of Urban Decay products in here, which I was so excited to find because Urban Decay is one of my favorite makeup brands. So the first thing was the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil, and this is in the color Black Velvet. So this is just a basic black eyeliner pencil. And then there were two different eyeshadow primer potions in here. This one's in the color Sin, which I've already been using. I was really excited to find this in the goodie bag because I've been wanting to purchase this for so long, but I didn't want to like spend the money on it. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. And then this is the anti-aging primer potion, which I don't think they sell it where I'm from in Canada because Canada's like the last place to get anything. But I didn't even know this was like a thing, so that's really interesting. And I haven't opened this yet. I might give this to my mom and see how she likes it. We also got a couple different single eyeshadows from Urban Decay, which was awesome. So this first one's in the color YDK. This one is Naked. And this one is in Polyester Bride. And I use this as my inner corner highlight on the weekend. It's so, so pretty. And this one is in the color Midnight Cowgirl, which is also really pretty just all over the lid. It looks so nice. This one's in the color Half Baked. So I believe the last thing from Urban Decay was this Urban Decay Super Saturated Ultra Intense Waterproof Cream Eyeliner. So I haven't even opened this yet, but it's in the color Perversion. This is the Fabulips pout o -Matic Spa Powered Lip Perfecting System. So this is just a exfoliator. It kind of looks like a toothbrush, but what you do is you put a little bit of the sugar lip scrub on the applicator, I don't know, and then you just put it on your lips and it's supposed to um, exfoliate your lips. This is also from the brand Matrix and it's the control gel. So it's supposed to control frizz and stuff like that. I think this would be a really good thing for curly hair as well. We also got some products from the H2O brand. This is the CC cream. This is the body cleansing water. Uh, this is instant hydrating stick. And finally, the Oasis Mist. This is another H2O product, and this is the Sea Salt Skin Smoother. These two products are from June Jacobs Spa Collection. This one's the Revitalizing Eye Gel. It's paraben-free and preservative-free, which is really interesting. I like when I read that on different products. I find that really cool. And um, I've been really interested in different eye products lately, so I'm excited to see how this works. And then this is the Mandarin Moisture Mask, paraben-free, preservative-free. We also got a proactive kit, so I think I'm going to give this stuff to Taylor and see if he likes it. So this is the Skin Smoothing Exfoliator, the Complexion Hydrating, no, <laughs> no it's not, the Complexion Perfecting Hydrator, Makeup Cleansing Wipes, which I'm going to keep for myself and not give to Taylor, but I have been using these and they're kind of like soapy, like I've never seen makeup remover wipes that had like legit, it like it bubbled, so I thought that was kind of weird, but... They do work pretty well, but I don't know. I think I'll stay to my Neutrogena wipes. I like those a lot better. This is the Pore Targeting Treatment, the Skin Purifying Mask, and finally this is called X Out, the Wash In Treatment. Then we got the Jason Vitamin E Skin Oil, which I am super excited to use this. You can use this for a whole bunch of different things like your cuticles. This is another H2O product and this is the Skin Salt Hydrating Body Gloss. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Cleansing Gel. This is the Alba Botanica Good and Healthy Leafy Green Goodness Spots Be Gone Corrector. So this is for dark spots. So I think I'm probably going to give this to my mom because I know she's like crazy about dark spot 
products so she'll probably be really excited to try this stuff and finally the last things that I got in this bag were a couple different nail polishes from Nails Inc so these are gel effect polish so they're kind of like um, gel nail polishes but without the UV light so this one's really pretty this one's in the color of no idea the names are really cool they're kind of like places so this one's in the color Mayfair Lane. It's just a really pretty pale baby pink color. This one's in the color Kens Kensington Passage, and it's a really pretty like neon orangey color. And the last one is Mercer Street, and it's a crazy blue. I don't really have any colors like these, so this is great to add to my collection. And they also gave us this set of Nails Inc. London nail polishes. So this is what it looks like. It comes with six different colors. Alright guys, so that was my super long haul. This is probably the biggest haul I've ever done in the existence of my channel. This is crazy. So I hope this haul video wasn't too long for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys very, very much and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye guys.